Poppy, so special for you, your first Premier League goal. How did that feel, especially for it to be the winner? Yeah, it's a dream come true. I mean, um, such a tough place to, to come. They've had a good uh, home run here, so we had to get the win. And, um, you know, I've still not come down for it. I still feel like I'm dreaming, to be honest. So <laughs> you have to give me a second to <laughs> come back to it. Absolutely. You savour every single moment because it's been such a special season for you. This is your eighth start in a row. How much have you enjoyed this run? Yeah, definitely. To, to start playing in the Premier League for my boyhood club, it's, it's been amazing. And um, now just trying to get a good run of games in, win more games, win more games and uh, get real momentum going. What a talent he is, Bruno. Yeah, it's a big talent. I've, seen, I've said it in the past. I've seen him playing for the under-18s, I think, two, three years ago. And I said to a friend that was, was in Manchester, he wanted to see some youth games. And I've, I had said at the time the, the name of Kobe without knowing that he was going to be this, this talent and this player. The talent was there, but I didn't know as a kid, but he's, he's better the, as a kid than, uh, than as a player. But he will be in the future equally. Nice to hear that from your captain. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a good role model to look up to and um, to have on the pitch as well. It's, it's, it's really good, yeah. The game was absolutely crazy, Bruno, but it was a dream start for Manchester United and it only took Marcus Rashford three touches to get that opening goal. Did he come out here tonight with a point to prove after the week he's had? Oh, we all have a point to prove every time that we come out of the pitch. Not only on Marcus, it's uh, on, uh, on everyone else, uh, but obviously the guys up front they have to step up to score goals for us. is for what... They've been brought to the club. Is this why Marcus has been through the academy and uh, now he's in the first team? He's a special, he's a special talent. Uh, he's been proving, proving himself. Uh, this season is not being amazing for everyone, not only for Marcus. Uh, we know that we are not in the position that we want to be, but we have to build up and uh, get into the positions we want to be at the end of the season. A special night for Cobby, scoring his first Premier League goal, back-to-back -back goals now for Manchester United as well. And also for you, it's your fourth anniversary since your debut at Manchester United. Nice to mark it with a win. Obviously, as I said before the game, that was really important. Uh, we've been talking about, uh, about the goal. I didn't get it. I had some chances that I didn't get it, but really happy that he has solved the problem for us. Guys, well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Eric, wow, what an incredible game to watch. How big does that win feel? Oh, it's, it's massive uh, for us, uh, the win. And, um, but, yeah, this, this match had a lot of sides. And, uh, but, yeah, let's take first the positives. I think we played very good. And we dictated the game for an hour. And we should have uh, go up with 3-0 no or 4-0, no, but we didn't. And then in the end, it's yeah, quite naive. Yeah, the way how we conceded goals uh, shouldn't happen. But then yeah, we showed resilience, and yeah, especially Kobe Mino, um, uh, is a great goal. It was a special moment for him, wasn't it? His first Premier League goal. How proud are you of him? Yeah, I'm not the, the manager telling her proud, but yeah, he's making incredible progress. And um, yeah, he has great abilities. Uh, he is, I think, he's the modern uh, midfield player, can attack, can defend. Um, uh, he has the intelligence to do both, but also the physicality. And yeah, he's also composed. <laughs> You mentioned naivety a moment ago when you conceded those goals in the second half. Is that a worry for you that the team were able to lose control of the game like that? Yeah, of course, we, we should have to do better. Uh, and, and it was also early in the season eh, that we uh, were a game where we totally dominate and then we give it away. Uh, so we should um, yeah, take more responsibility on the pitch in certain moments. And we have so much experience and you know, we should manage that. Going back to the positives, it was a dream start to the game and it only took Marcus Rashford three touches to get the opening goal. Did he need that? Sure, <laughs> but it was a, a fantastic team goal, and and uh, and we scored more of such goals uh, from building up, uh, uh, many plays involved, get a switch and score a great goal. Is it also frustrating for you, as his manager, that he clearly has the ability to go out there and put in performances and score goals like that, but we're not seeing it consistently from Marcus Rashford this season? No, but. I think what you see consistently is the last games uh, where he uh, now three goals and two assists, uh, I think, in three or four games. So the form is coming.